Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing a quick full body sequence. I know when I wake up in the morning, I want to do something quick and easy that will not only get my heart pumping, you know, help me with my back issues because I'm always stiff in the morning, but will also keep me motivated throughout the day. So this quick sequence will help you begin your day and start it off right. I hope you have a great day and blessed be. Let us start in prayer posture as we open our hands above our head, bringing in the calming energy of the earth and bringing it back to our hearts. I want you to see this universal calming energy filling your body as you bring it back to your center. Now as we raise our hands up, I want you to lift your body up and twist a little bit to the side giving your side a stretch and also a stretch of your neck, ever so gentle. Now we are going to slowly rise our hands up and then bring them back to our center before we bring our hands to our back, intertwining our hands opening our chest, bringing our head forward to the ground. We give a forward stretch of the arms, careful of the neck. As we lift up on our knees, our hands are still intertwined behind our backs. Our chest is open. We bring our hands up and then we lower down into child's pose. Now we begin a gentle flow to awaken our back. First we move into Cobra. And then we lower back into Child's Pose. Remember to take deep breaths through each movement. And we rise back up into Sphinx Pose. You can really feel the transition through each movement as we lower back to child's pose and then fully awaken into upward facing dog. Looking from side to side, awakening our body, we move into downward dog. Walking the dog, giving a little stretch of the hamstrings, making sure that you feel comfortable. It's okay if you can't reach all the way. Some days we're a little more flexible than others. This is a relaxing pose, so just breathe and allow yourself to rest as you relax your body before you transition into plank and lower down chaturanga into upward facing dog and then we transition back down to downward facing dog plank down dog plank Chaturanga down into upward facing dog. This is why we warmed up our backs, folks, and we transition to down dog. Now walk your feet up to standing forward bend. And down. Now, we lift our, when we lift ourselves up a little bit, we are just trying to warm up our back body. I, my neck is always tight, so I always like to maneuver whenever I'm in standing forward bend or whenever I am in 
any form of stretch where my neck is tight. And now I want you to gently massage the back of your calves because this is usually a very tight part of your body when you're in this pose and you can really feel it. Now lift up one arm, stretching, feeling the one side stretch and then lift up your other arm to feel the stretch in the other side. Now we raise our hands up in the air to bring them back down to forward bend. Halfway, forward bend. Down to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, to downward facing dog. Now walk your feet up and we stay in forward bend for a moment before we slowly rise up so you don't get a head rush reaching our hands up to the air and we lower to chair posture you can really feel this in your thighs stay in this pose breathing through each movement when you're starting to give up keep breathing you have got this. You have got this. Keep breathing in and out as you are in this posture. You're breathing oxygen into these muscles. They're just not used to it. Feel your feet. Focus on how stable you are as you bring your hands up in the air and lower back down to forward bend. And halfway, we rise back up and we lower back down to forward bend. Step your feet back into plank, chaturanga, our way up to upward facing dog before we lower back down into a downward facing dog. Now I want you to lift one leg up in the air into a one-legged dog and then do circles with that knee bent. This is opening up your hip joints, waking them up. I know you, you feel that. And then back to one-legged dog. Before you transition into warrior two. Transition. <laughs> Glasses always need a little adjustment. And peaceful warrior. And this is where you can really focus on your breath as you bring your hands intertwined behind you as you transition to Humble Warrior. This posture can be difficult to start with, but remember to breathe through the movement. Your shoulder will be interline, in line with your knee. You may feel a little wobbly to start. But just focus on your breath and remember that you have this and you got it. You're doing a great job. As you rise up, we transition back into warrior two. Before we go to lunge posture. Warrior Let's move back to the front of our mat, 
hands up in the air and we lift our leg up as we transition into tree. This balancing pose prepares you for our next posture, which is going to be Warrior Three. It's okay if you fall, it happens to all of us. Just restart. Lower if you can, if you cannot, do the best you can and breathe. Focus on your breath. Then we step back into lunge before we go to plank and then chaturanga down to upward facing dog. Lower yourself back into downward dog and we're gonna do the opposite leg. One-legged dog, bend our knees, and we do circles, opening those hips. You got this. It can feel like it's throwing you off balance when you're doing this, but just go at your own pace. Back to one-legged dog before we transition to warrior two. Once you feel stable, rise up and lower yourself down. Adjust glasses, <laughs> as always, and go to peaceful warrior. Now in this posture, I really feel the stretch more in my back hamstrings than I do my chest. Transition into warrior two before we put our hands behind our backs and move into humble warrior. Now, this is a difficult posture for your thighs are feeling it, especially after chair. But just keep on breathing. You got this. We are doing our best yogi self here. Rising up. We try not to fall and we transition into lunge. Keep breathing as we bring our feet together. Give a little walk. And we do the opposite leg for tree. Once you find that you are centered, take a few deep breaths. Balance will develop over time and practice. Just keep at it. Now breathing in, I want you to envision that you are that tree and that you are rooted and you are grounded. And we are gonna lift our back, that leg back and transition into warrior three. And or as my kids call flying airplane. Your hands are forward, your leg is back, parallel to the earth and we move bring our knee forward mainly because we were about to fall and then we step back into a lunge now lower yourself into plank and then down dog chaturanga Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Now let's relax in this 
pose for a few minutes, deep breaths in and out, letting that heart get in beat again so that you don't feel too rushed. Remember, we're doing the best we can. Lower into plank. And we're doing side hip dips. Dip your hip to the side. Dip your hip to the side. Now you could really feel this in your core. Hip dip. Down to chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And to downward facing dog. And we walk our feet up to forward bend. Now as we rise up, we rise into chair posture. Yup, we're there again. Your hips are grateful because you are going to have a killer booty doing chair. And we lower to standing forward bend. And rise up again into chair and on tiptoes we lower down now in this posture this is about balancing but also your breath I want you to bring in the calming energy as you are on your tiptoes Lower yourself down to the ground. Your legs out in front of you before you, we do seated forward bends. Place your hands as far down as you can. Remember you are bending from your lower lumbar region, not your back muscles. Stretching your hamstrings as you breathe in and out. Go only as far as you feel comfortable. A little neck stretch for me. As you see, I have a lot of neck issues, so I always do a little neck stretch. Breathing in and out. This can be a calming, relaxing pose. Now we get up and we lift our knees up so that we can lower ourselves down and bring your knees to your chest and we're going to do a little wool ball. Side to side, massaging our lower back before we place our one leg down, stretching our knee up and then turning into our twist. Your spinal twist is going to be your best friend if you have back issues. And then we lift our legs up, knee on with your foot making the figure four, and then we do the opposite. Knee up, spinal twist, Bringing our foot, catching our knee as we go into the figure four. Breathing in and out. And then we lower our feet down and place our body fully relaxed onto the ground. Relaxing into corpse pose. Breathing in the calming energy of the world around us. Taking stock in the fact that we did this. We took this moment for us. You did a great job today. And just remember that if you didn't get it the first time, maybe next time you'll get it. 
Yoga is not about perfection. Yoga is about taking the time for you and stretching your mind, your body, with your breath. Stay in this pose for as long as you like. Or, if you like, you can get up and do another session. It's all up to you. You have the whole entire world in front of you. Now, I have a little bit to do today, so I am going to get up and breathe in that calming energy, breathe in that positivity.